Yep, just Adam, aka Cat Tama, is out here with some of my kitties here. Um, it is a bit pollen y out here, so. But we decided just to go out. I guess we got a neighbor out there doing something. But just go out here and um, you know, have a little time outside while we can. So we'll see if anybody pops on this live or not. There goes another neighbor's cat doing their thing. We got some birds going out. Just kind of hanging out here on this Sunday, seeing what everybody's up to. Just spending some time with these kitties here. Out here we got Kit. We got Orange, Tang, we got Tiny, we got Max over there. Oh, Kit, you're okay. Kit, you're okay. See how long we're out here. Hello there, Greg. How you doing, Greg? Hopefully you can hear me okay, Greg. I'm doing fine. Sunday, how you doing out there in California? Just a little other impromptu live here. Just kind of hanging out. Hanging out with the kitties here. Definitely got a lot of pollen out here at the moment out here on this porch <laughs> you can see some of the yellow over there and definitely some of the yellow that's on this tarp they love pollen don't you so we got a birdie we got our neighbor over there doing their thing Got a bird flying around here at the moment. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get. Oh, hi, Steph. Hope you're doing well, Steph. Happy Easter to you too, Steph. Yeah, Steph. Uh, it's just a little impromptu vertical live going on here. Um, got some of my kitties here. I'll probably be out here for a little bit and go inside for a little bit. But got Kit. Over there, got tiny and orange over there. Hello, cool gamer. Thanks for popping in, friend. Hope you're doing well today. Hello there, uh, Sophie Forever. Yes, yeah, Sophie Forever. If you are new to this channel, then uh, I do have nine cats um, all together. Uh, some of the cats here are Kit. Tiny here is kind of coming a little closer here. Trying to avoid all that pollen. Pollen of plenty. Hey, tiny. Say hello to the people. Hang hey, you know, on, that little, that sad little meow that you got going on, huh? Hey, tiny. Oh, hey, tiny. Let's see. So, what's going on with this poll so far? So, five people have voted, and 100% yes so far. But hope you're doing well, everybody. Um, hope you're doing well, Steph. I hope um, Dinky is doing well. But just kind of enjoying some nature out here. Cats haven't been outside the porch for a while because uh, of all this pollen that's going on. Lots and lots and lots of pollen. But figured it's been a little while, so let's get them back outside again so they can kind of enjoy got Yoda you can't really see he's on that scratch he's on a, a hammock I'll get to him in a second just spend a little time out here here first tiny come here kid 
Come here, kid. Say hi to the people, kid. I know, kid. You're a good girl. And we got orange. Yes, orange and Kit do not get along. Kit kind of sometimes bully, bullies orange a little bit. Hello, Ann. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, so, Steph, rabbits cannot cough up hairballs or they get sick, so they get blockages. That doesn't sound like fun. Well, hopefully, Dinky doesn't have a big blockage going on, Steph, and hopefully, it'll get better soon. Orangey, Tang. Tang. Kit, I know it's all about you. Bye, Orange. What's going on, Kit? What's going on, Kit? He's a good girl. What's up, Kit? I know, Kit, you enjoy this outside time, don't you? Time, time. Um, so Steph, he had a gas reduction procedure, then open surgery, and was in the vet for two weeks. Ooh. Is he back home now, vet, uh, Steph? And Pandora is, uh, she's doing okay. Um, she, uh, had a, um, a special test, uh, a few, uh, blood tests, um, that we need to wait on the results, uh, which we'll get sometime next week. Um, it's called a GI panel test, so it does a lot more, uh, more intensive specialized um, testing uh, with the intestines and with the guts. So we we're just waiting on that test at the moment. So, but I appreciate the ask. And uh, Rosemary's doing overall pretty well too. Um, syringe feeding him. Yeah, uh, Steph, I know all about that. We had to syringe feed one of our kitties, named Kitty, uh, about a year ago, two years ago nearly, I think now. And we had to syringe feed her for a year, a year plus, because she would not eat her wet food, her kidney food. Um, and that was not fun, but it's what we got to do. Uh, thank you, Steph. What's up, kid? I know you're showing everybody your butt. Nobody wants to see your butt, kid. All right, kitties. All right, is it just you two out here? So we'll just we'll go inside and we'll kind of show around the house a little bit more. Um. Wow, five years. That's that's some dedication stuff. Um, that's definitely. Uh, a lot of dedication yeah we did we did for kitty we did about a year year two years or so um, because she was one of those weird cats who never wanted to eat wet food um, very unusual for a kitty not wanting to eat wet food are you stretching out kit I know you're a good girl you're a good girl okay come on kitties we're gonna go in for a bit Okay, check some other thing. Come on, Tiny. All right, let's see what's going on inside here. All right, let's check out. Yoda is one in one of our hammocks here. Um, what did you rename Lucky, Anne? But yeah, so those who are new, um, some I think maybe some new people in here. There's five people in here, it looks like, all together right now. Um, so if you're new to this channel or, or new to me, um, I have nine kitties, and one of them is Yoda here, who is currently grooming her, her, himself. And these cool little hammocks the cats really like. Um, well, he's just kind of doing his Yoda-like thing. Baby girl. Nice, Anne. Nice. Who's a good Yoda? Are you showing off? Hey, buddy boy. Up close and personal with Yoda. I know 
coyote. You got a big nose. Hubby calls Lucky name he gave her two years ago. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm not sure what that was about, Yoda. <laughs> but you're okay. Um, I call her baby girl and she comes running to me, ignores him. <laughs> okay. So I guess Lucky maybe has two different names then. Lucky is Lucky for him and she's baby girl for you. And Yoda's ready to throw up. All right, let's see what else is going on here. We got Max. People don't see much of Max. Max is a, um, he's also a rescue kitty. Um, we rescued Max from a, uh, no, we didn't rescue him. He was a foster fail. I mean, bye, Max. We'll see you in a bit. Um, hey, Yoders. Good, good Rob Yoda's. Good, good boy. He's a good boy. Who's a good boy? Alright, let's see what else is going on around here. So that's Yoda. And uh, Kit over here. She's always a little skittish. Hi, Kit. Say hello to everybody, Kit. He says, nah, I just want to eat my food. Leave me alone. And then we got up here, Tiny. This is another kitty that you don't see much of. Tiny is our little bowling ball kitty, because she's a little chunky. But she's a good girl. But that's Tiny. Um, Kit, you're just eating, I know. And then, obviously, we have a tunnel here. Hello there, Icon. How you doing? And I would definitely recommend a, um, if y'all don't have an infinity, an infinity, infinity scratching post for your cats, if you have cats, um, I would highly recommend one. Hello there, John. How you doing, John? Hope you're doing well, John. Yeah, John, this is one of those uh, vertical live streams. This is something, John, if you're interested, you can do on your own phone also by just going live um, vertically on your cell phone. Uh, it's, uh, I think it works. Um, I tried this now. This is the second time I've done this. And, uh, you know, it's pretty fun. Um, it's pretty engaging with chat, stuff like that. So, just a suggestion. Um, where are you going, Kit? You going up them stairs? But yeah, so what I was talking about was this Infinity Scratcher. Um, it's made out of, like, recycled cardboard. And it's been, you know, pretty well loved on here on this side. But... You can see, I can flip it over, and this side hasn't even been used yet. So eventually we'll flip it over to this other side, and they can start using that. But they still have some time here. They still got some use on this side. What's up, Max? What's up, Maximus? You gonna go on there, Maxi? Uh-oh, you got trouble here. Double tuxedo trouble going on with Max and Yoda here. These two troubling boys. Yoda's getting a little frisky. They got some tail waggling going on here. <laughs> Hello, hi. Glad you come in, hi. Bye, Yoda. Um, 
Halo quality rose tables. Um, yes, if you love kitties, uh, this is the place to be. Uh, quality love tables. They got nine cats all together. Um, obviously, you know, if you want to check my channel out later, then feel free to. But uh, we got nine kitties and, um, you know, lots of lots of good stuff with kitties. What are you doing, Yoda? So let me check some other, other cats here. Um, over here... We have uh, oh, a big old yawn. So over here we have Pandora. Now, Pandora, as you can see, she has a, a recent shave because she had an ultrasound done recently. Um, Pandora uh, has uh, hyperthyroidism, which she has medication. She's on medication currently. <coughs> and... Uh, she recently went to a internal specialist and we're going to be doing some special blood work for her because we got to figure out what's going on with her because she's losing weight, unfortunately. Um, and she was 10 pounds up to a couple years ago, but she dropped down to seven and a half pounds just about a month ago and we got her back up to eight pounds now. So her weight is gaining but we still feel there is something going on with Pandora. Um, so she has some special blood work that's sent out to Texas. Um, I'm in North Carolina, so it's sent out to Texas. And we're just waiting on the results to see if she's got some kind of you know, GI uh, stomach issue going on. You want to lick the finger? You want to lick your belly? So because of that, she had a recent... I'm just going to lift this up a little bit. She had a recent little shave so you can see her little, her little pooch. She doesn't like that right now. But she's a good girl. Now also, um, for those who might be new to me, like High um, and Quality Row Stables, if you have any cat questions, always feel free to ask those questions. Um, I've, been, I've lived with cats for 30 plus years. I've worked in many, multiple, multiple animal hospitals, so I have a ton of experience for cats. And it's kind of the reason of my channel is some cat education and just cute cats. Hello, Judy. Happy Easter, Judy. <clears throat> Ooh, got a scratch. We got a scratch. You gotta lick them toe beans now, huh? Get a little ASMR action. Licking them toe beans. Not sure if y'all can hear her licking or not, but I know some people like cat lickings. <laughs> now, um, if anybody has any cats that are hyperthyroidic, um, one thing that's tricky for them is to know what to feed them. Uh, because... Um, Oh, thanks, John. I, I try to do the best cat lives <laughs> possible. <laughs> um, one thing that's tricky with with these cats that have hyperthyroidism um, is the kind of food. Um, you'll see a lot of different things online and from maybe your own vets. Uh, some people say just high protein and that's it. But what I find out what works best for her, and I think maybe for most, is uh, doing a diet that's high in protein, yes, but you also need a diet that's high in carbs also. Hello, Haley. Thanks for popping in. Um, if you love Cat Haley, Cat Haley, this is a good a good place for you. Um, I have nine cats all together and uh, have some funny videos, but also more and more educational videos educating people about cats. So I appreciate you coming in and, uh, you know, hang out for a while. If you have any cats yourself, Haley, and you need any questions or any advice, just let me know in the chat. Um, I'm here to help. Um... But anyway, so what we found out with Pandora, what works best for her is, yes, getting her high-protein diet, but also something that has some carbs, too. Um, so we've been feeding her wet and dry food. And what that does, it kind of helps the, the, the metabolism is so quick, it just kind of helps uh, them keep some weight on. But she's doing a grooming session right now. So let me see what else is going on around here. We got Kit, who's still eating some food. Um, and how many cats do you have? I got Tiny there. 
Um, kind of take around here of course I talked about this infinity scratcher I would highly recommend that um, a little tunnel here oh you have 18 you have double my amount <laughs> of course litter boxes we all know with cats litter boxes cats and litter boxes right um, let's take a little time back up to the tiny kitty again those who do know my channel and those who kind of are interested in the humongous tuxedo origin <clears throat> tiny here is kind of where the humongous tuxedo came from um she's kind of the the got the idea with the humongous tuxedo is from tiny because she's a little chunky kitty she's about 15 pounds now does tiny look 15 pounds no, she doesn't, not laying down here at least, but she's a 15 pound kitty. I'll have to check out that video, Anne, um, where you show all 18 of your kitties. Yeah, Haley, those infinity scratchers, they are a little bit more expensive. They're, I think, about 50, 60 bucks, but they last like six months, nine months, a year easily, depending on how many cats you got, of course. Good girl, tiny, tiny. She's a good girl. Oh, I know she got that chin rub. All right, let's see what else is going on. Okay, we got Kit, we got Pandora. And your mon mono, Manu was oh, 11 kilograms, so that's about, what, 22 pounds or something? 23 pounds, let's go upstairs. Oh, here's another thing you're gonna find out with cats, right? <laughs> At least my cats. Unfortunately, and this is Tang, our orange tabby, he does a horrible thing with stairs. This carpet, he eats it, he chews on it, and we always got to try to get him. But he is ruining these carpet stairs. Let's go up. Oh. Hi, Yoda. We got Yoda. I'm trying to find Max again. Hold on, everybody. Oh, we got the baby over here. Hi, babers. So this is the baby. She's about 12, 13 years old or so. As you can see, she is a nutty calico. She's a little, <laughs> she's like you're waking me from my beauty sleep. She's a little tired looking right now. But she is a good girl. Haley, yep, it's perfectly fine. I don't have like an age limit or anything. I'm not like monetized at the moment or anything, so there's no worries on, on age with that. You're fine. We got Orange who's deciding to come up here too. He always has to investigate. Boobers. Yoda, who are you erring at? Here. Kitty that's definitely not seen in many videos at all. This is, oh, gotta get on the ground, see if I can get back up. This is our 19 year old diabetic Zelda. Um, Haley, to answer your questions, why cats always get uh, hair everywhere, it's because they shed. <laughs> they have all that fur, right? And just like humans, you know, cats shed, shed their hair, and, you know, uh, that's how it gets everywhere. Um, depending on the type of cat you have, um, a short-haired cat, like all of these are domestic short hairs, they don't shed as much, but if you have long-haired cats, uh, Maine Coons, um, 
Norwegian forest cats, um, Persians, that kind of cat. Um, they're gonna shed like crazy because they got that longer hair. So what you need to do with something like that is always brush, brush as much as you can. Hey Zeus, your good Zelda. So hopefully that answered your question, Haley. Who's your good Zeus? I know. Zelda's always trying to get her sunspot. She's always trying to get that sun. Okay. Get off the floor in my old age. Check out the baby again. She's looking all prim and proper. You have a ragdoll, Haley? Yeah, those definitely, they, they are, uh, those are shed monsters. So, you know, try to brush as much as you can or have your parents or whatever, have them brush as much as they can. That'll help um, all the shedding. We go go baby. Icon, thank you. Um, we definitely try, you know, as you know, we have nine. So we try to take care of them as best as we can. It is sometimes a challenge. Um, it does take a toll on you emotionally and, and financially at times. But, you know, that's life. You got Maximus. You guys make a mess with your food. <laughs> that's daily. If you have more than one or two cats, you're always going to notice you're going to have... <laughs> A mess with food, um, especially if they're free feed. You got his monkey over there. Kind of avoid the litter box. Nobody wants to see cat poop, I don't think. Um, let me see. Just kind of checking around, seeing if there's maybe Yoda must have went. Oh, orangey. Here, let's spend some time with orangey. Orangey. Now, Orangey here is a ham. Um, we got Orangey. We got him and his sister, Tang. Those two are related. Tang is the one that was up on the scratching post. Um, they came from the same litter, and we fostered both of them along with their three other siblings about three years ago now, and we wound up foster failing. And well, since then, and because of that, now we have Orangey and Tiny. What's up, Max? You just rubbing. You the handsome boy. You the handsome Maximus. I know orange. You want to show off. You want to get a good chin scratch. You want your mousey? You want your mouse on your head? You a good boy. He's a good tang. He's got big old teeth though. Spank his butt. You go boy. He loves that chin rub. So those of you who don't know, cats and chin rubs, um, the reason they like their chins being rubbed so much is what it does, it releases a pheromone that's in, you know, that's in their skin basically, in their body. And what it does, it helps relax them. It helps relax them. It helps put them at ease when they when they're getting that chin rub. So that's one of the reasons why cats love chin rub so much. Now some cats they like their shoulders rubbed, and some cats like their butts rubbed. Tang is a bit of a butt rubber too. He likes that butt being rubbed, but he also likes that chin. Yo, go boy. Oh yes, he is. Max, what you doing? What you doing, Maximus? Uh, something that some of y'all may not know who's been on my channel for a while, Maximus actually has to take a medication, and his medication is right up there. Uh, he has to take it daily. It's called Cisapride. Um, what it does, it helps his uh, guts, his intestines. It helps them remain smooth so his food will go through his digestive tract properly. Um, what was going on before it was getting stuck like his, in, in his intestines and he was vomiting up food and vomiting up blood. But since he's been on that Cisapride medicine, 
that has stopped. He's not the biggest fan of taking medication. As some of you cat parents know, you know, sometimes cats are a bit of a pain to get pills down. And uh, he's a bit dramatic with it. But he's not too bad with it. That's Maximus. That's old Maxi Raxi. Whiskers Maximus was his, uh, uh, his baby name. Strong name, right? Whiskers Maximus, but he's actually nothing but a coward. Oh, big yawn. Hello there, Sherry. Thanks for popping in, Sherry. I'm just kind of doing a, a bit of an impromptu vertical live here. Um, I, I did one of these a week, uh, a few days ago, and I wanted to try again. Um, little interaction kind of thing, and uh, just something a little different. You know, I'm not doing my Sunday cat showcase today, but I figured we're going to do a big jump. Big jump. A big jump. Hello there, Stephanie. Glad you came in, Stephanie. Um, if you like kitties, Stephanie, I got nine altogether um, on my channel. Uh, here are, this is Tang, Stephanie, and behind me is uh, Maximus. Hello there, Bert. Hope you're doing well, Bert. Uh, yes, uh, Sherry, this is a vertical live. This is something that I did a few days ago. And it's something I'm kind of trying out a little bit. This is maybe a compromise with shorts. <laughs> get some stuff in your eyeball, Max, and get that out of there. Max is a handsome boy, though. What you see in Max? Those big, beautiful blue, eye, or blue eyes, green eyes that you got. You're a good boy. Now he's got some, he's got some long whiskers, hence the name Whiskers Maximus. When he was a little kitten, his, his whiskers were like so crazy because he had a big old head and a small body, <laughs> but uh, he's, um, he's grown up. Okay, that was Max. Tang is showing off his, his vampire teeth, yep, showing off his teeth. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, I'm trying just something different here. Um, just doing something a little different. He's a good boy. Yes, he is. He's showing off that smile and those beautiful orange markings that he's got. Yes, he's a good boy. He just loves that, doesn't he? Get the little stuff and get some crap in your eyes, honey. All right, um, let's see, let me go back over here, uh, Sherry, to answer your question, the difference from my knowledge between, um, a vertical live and a usual live is vertical lives from from my understanding they go to uh, the shorts feed so if you are watching um, if you if you're like scrolling through shorts like the you know the shorts part of YouTube what will happen vertical lives these vertical lives they pop up so um, it's just like another way of getting into a, a bigger audience somewhat um, to, to my uh, Understanding that's the biggest difference. So back to Zelda, who again, Zelda's our 19 year old diabetic. Yeah, John, I think that's what it is. It's kind of like the shorts version of live stream. And you know, I'm, I'm an, obviously I'm, I'm not, I'm not a fan of shorts anymore. Um, but I, uh, I wanted to, uh, I don't know, I wanted to give this a try. It's got way too much sun there. You're going to give some love into you two. You're going to give the baby a little bit of kiss. No. Hi, girl. Get that gunk out of your eyes, honey. I know, baby. 
You're a good girl. All right. Let me go back downstairs and see what's going on down there. Oh, excuse my mess. <laughs> my messy house here. Downstairs, and what do we got going on here? This is a very, as you all can see, a pretty scratched up, very well loved scratching post. It's about the scratching post is about a decade or so, it's about 10 years. But this is tiny. So she is related to Tang, the orange tabby who was upstairs. These are the two um, that had, uh, that were related, that were in a litter of five, and we wound up foster failing Tiny and Tang. Got a mouse toy. Obviously a toy. Okay, tiny. I'll come back to that. All right, I'm gonna get over back to Pandora again. But back to Pandora. Yeah, John, so I, I would definitely maybe give this a try sometimes. Uh, this is, will be, you know, it could be a good, uh, a good way of, um, you know, one, bringing in some new, new folk who are not watching a short necessarily, and they're maybe in it for more like longer, you know, longer uh, form stuff. Because obviously a live is a lo basically a long form, you know, very long potentially. And um, it'll... Uh, you know, maybe watch hours also, you know. Because when I did one of these, when I did the, the one, I did one a couple days ago, and I, ended, I did it for like 45 minutes or so, and it had like five hours of watch time in 45 minutes. So, just saying. He's a good girl. Hello there, Rev. Oh, and okay, yeah, so um, I guess um, maybe like a quick movement. So I will try to be like not go crazy, too crazy on the phone here. Um, yeah, John, these do count for watch hours. Yep. Yep, because it's a live stream. Um, anything that's a live stream, whether it's through StreamYard or, you know, through service or whatever, or if it's through YouTube itself does count uh, watch hour wise. So these do count. Hello there, monetization on my mind. I can't talk. <laughs> Hello there. I'm um, not sure if I know you or not, or unless you're one of maybe you've, maybe you're Bert and you changed one of your your titles or your name or your channels or whatever. But uh, hello there. You turned your back on us. Yes, you did. You turned your back on us. And I don't think they will be count. They will count being shorts. No, and they don't. This this counts as a as a video, as a as a live, um, as a live stream. Kid, so serious. Ooh, it's so dark in here. How did it get so dark? There we go. Bring in the light. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and it does count. Yep. Uh oh. So hear what I was talking about with Orange. Now he's probably about to do something he shouldn't. Uh. 
he's getting ready to probably start chewing on this carpet again. As you can see, some of his bad behavior is right here. He chews on the carpet. He pulls it up with his uh, uh, um, with his uh, uh, claws, and then the baby eats it. So they have like some kind of thing going on here. But he sometimes he's a bad boy with this carpet. Oh, they always look innocent, Judy, don't they? <laughs> but see, watch. He might do it right here. Yep. See, this is this. Yep. This is it. Caught in the act. He doesn't even care if the camera's on him or anything. He's being recorded, but he doesn't care. He's like, I'm going to do this anyways, and you're not going to stop me. <sighs> Thankfully, he's one of the only cats that does do this, but he misbehaves. He gets, he's like, get in there. Get that, get that camera in there. Watch me go to work. Watch me rip this carpet into shreds. And then we have to go and we have to pull him away because his claws get all stuck. And then he goes right back to it. And then he acts like, oh, I'm not doing anything. And then see, he's going to go over here and he's going to try and do the same thing. So eventually we're going to have to like do something. We're probably going to have to change the carpet because we were in another house, a couple other houses. One had like a, a the Berber carpet, so it's like thicker and he wouldn't do it with that one. So I don't know what it is with this carpet, but he will not leave it alone when he starts getting at it. See, he just comes right back to it. Come on. Dang, nope. Oh, going that way. Here. Dang. Go get that toy. I didn't do anything, Daddy. I'm I'm innocent. Not sure why it gets blurry like that with the phone. Anyways, that is Tang. And so one cat hope does that the same way with the pillow. Yeah. A little bit more closer look of Pandora's shaved belly. There is some hair that's growing back, obviously, here. But she got her shaved belly. I know, girl. I know, Pandora. You're a good girl. Yeah, Judy, if you're asking, um, it's just the, uh, just the, st it's, it's the stairs that has carpet and upstairs has carpet. Downstairs, like the entire downstairs, it's all, um, LVP flooring. Um, Rev, I've heard that before about cayenne pepper, and I've also heard, like, lemon, kind of like lemon juice. Um, it can, uh, potentially, you know, prevent them from doing that, but... I guess what we could do, we could just cut his nails and then cap his teeth like a crocodile. <laughs> but I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. See, here he is. He's, he's back at it again. Yep. I turn around. I got to come back over here. He's like, yeah, see, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything at all. Like, who, me? I'm doing nothing. I'm an innocent, innocent little orange tabby. And now I'm just going to itch and scratch, and I'm going to wait for you to go away. So then I can get back at my fun again. Okay, orange. You misbehaving boy. 
All right, let's go check on Max again. Max is a good boy. Let's lay down with Max for a moment. He's like, what's up, people? You don't do anything bad. It's a drunken eyes there, Max. All right, I've had 42 people vote on Do You Love Cats and 95%. All right, not too bad. I mean, I'm expecting 100%, obviously, but 95 isn't too bad. He's a good boy. He's a good smacksimis, smacksimis, smacksimis. Yes, he is. He's a good boy. He got some pretty eyeballs. Yep, Rev. I know you. You're good with your your kitties or your doggies. I'm sorry, Rev. Your uh, Athena and the Nookie. I can't remember the other one, Rev. I'm sorry, the other one's name. Um, the one that I know passed on a little bit ago. Sure, you think they're everywhere, but really, the, these nine cats, for the most part, they kind of have their spots. And this is like Max's room, basically. Kashka. Okay. Thank you, Rev. But uh, they really have their spots. Max, you got burger in your nose. Get to that later. Let me see if I can find Yoda again. Oh. This is Tang's relaxed. Look, he's always got those legs usually sp splayed out like that. Let's see, nobody in there. Where are you, Yoda? You under the bed. Nope, you're not under the bed. Hmm. Where is Yoda at? Oh, not in there. What if Yoda went back into the kitchen? Pandora kit. Oh, there's another common site. I'm gonna show it because this is real life, folks. Puke. I don't know who just threw up. It was probably Kit because she was eating a little bit ago. And this is technically, this is actually kind of important. So, hey, Tranquil. If you ever notice your cats, if they eat quickly, they're not necessarily vomiting or throwing up. What they're doing, they're just regurgitating their food, which is perfectly normal. And there's no like health issues with it. Um, but, uh, so that's a pretty common sight if you have a lot of cats uh, regurgitating their food. Because you can see a lot of the food is still um, whole. It's not digested yet. Hello there, L. George. Is Yoda, are you in one of your thinking spots? Nope, he's not in there. Where is Yoda at? Sometimes Yoda goes up in these cabinets. Nope, he's not there. Is he in the office? Yeah, he definitely, uh, Kit definitely ate too fast, Judy. She does that pretty often. Um, this is my wife's office, by the way, everybody, because she works from home. Um, and hopefully soon enough, in a couple of uh, weeks, uh, I'll, I'll actually start working from home my, myself again. 
Uh, so hopefully that'll go well, but this is her office. Orangey. Oh, I can show you all something too. Hang on a second, everybody. Hang on. Get a toy. This. This little toy here by Orange. Problem is, this is kind of like sleepy time right now with these kitties. They're all sleepy. But I like this little toy. Let's see if I can get a cat though to come in here with it. Come on, Orange. Orangey, come here. Orangey. Orangey, come here, buddy. Oh, come here, Orange. Come on, Orangey. Gotta get that puke still. There's Yoda. So we got this little toy. Um, as you can see, it's like a little mouse. Its tail lights up. And it pretty much goes wherever. Kind of does its own little thing here. Oh, did it go under the fridge, Tiny? Is it stuck under the fridge? There we go. So Yoda's having a little party with it. Tiny's kind of doing something with it. It's getting stuck in the fridge though. Hey kid. Oh, where's it going, kitties? It's way over here. Let's go over that way. It's not a very smart mouse, though. I kind of wish it was remote controlled. So then you can control where it goes. Tiny's always afraid of it. Well, I guess it needs a drink of water. You gonna go get it, Yoda? Sorry about the glare. Oh, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You're going back to the fridge. Oh. All right, get the dishwasher. You gonna get it? Alright, so that's one toy that the kitties like. I'm gonna stop this for a second. 
Okay. Something else that the cats like is going to be this bird here. This bird. As you can see, this bird is a little dirty, right? You can see all this like yucky stuff over here. This is like cats chewing and licking on it because it has catnip in it. Come on, Yoda. Come on. Oh, get your big butt down there. What is it, Yoda? Come on, buddy. Here, let me get it moving. Hold on a second. Hi, Tyne Tyne. What's up, Yoda? Hold on, Yoda. Yoda. Yoda, come here. What are you going to do with that Yoda? Yep, you're just going to rub on it. <laughs> Pretty much, John, yes. <laughs> I sometimes feel, John, like we're in a, uh, one of those like um, cat cafe kind of places. Cats and food everywhere. Yoda. Get it, Yoda. No? You're, like, you're not interested? Come on, Yoda. All right. I had this out yesterday and they, they were playing with it for a while. I think they're kind of tired of it. And it does get a little annoying, I will say. So I'm gonna turn this back off. All right, another cat toy that I would recommend is this. Um, this, like you can see, is like a little butterfly toy. Um, another Amazon purchase. All these toys are like 20, this toy is probably like about 20 bucks or so. Um, question is, cause I, I open it up. I'm gonna turn the light on also. Orangey, find a way, buddy. Oh, I didn't even see that. Uh, thank you, um, uh, Rev. I, I didn't see any uh, any comment. I must have missed that when I was doing something here. But yes, they, they really like this butterfly toy also. Um, goes around and around and around and around and around, as you can see. And they catch it sometimes. They'll catch it like in their paw. Like you can see Yoda here catching it, uh, or Kit catching it in his in her paw. This was about I don't know maybe twenty bucks or so. Um, hey Maximus, what's up, Maximi? You checking the action out? You're like, what's going on here?
Yeah, El George, I, I do like this uh, this toy. Um, Rosemary likes it a lot. Now, y'all haven't seen Rosemary, because right now Rosemary is up in her room because she does not get along with the other cats, um, unfortunately. But, um, and my wife is up when there too, and my wife doesn't like to be on camera. <laughs> so, y'all may not see Rosemary on this live um, here. And I've been going for an hour, so I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be on here. Um, I just wanted to, you know, kind of introduce kitties to some new friends, potentially some new people that might be going, you know, that might pop in here. Um, I still got to get that puke off the floor. <laughs> I have to remember there's puke over there so I don't step into it. Isn't that the worst? So cat parents... Tell me if this is the worst thing, when you accidentally step in cat puke or, you know, cat um, regurgitation food. Isn't that the worst? Especially when you don't have any any uh, any socks on or anything, because I don't have any socks on right now. And you, you have that, you step in that, especially when it's cold puke, squishy puke, and it's like, oh, it's awful. Awful, awful, awful. Sometimes you can see it and just sometimes you don't see the puke. Yeah, Tranquil, I've probably done that like, not several times, but I've probably done that like hundreds of times, to be honest with you, through the years, through the decades. <laughs> exactly, John, exactly. <laughs> uh, I agree. Or, or you know, I, I know those these folks that have dogs on here too. I like Bird. I don't know if you're on here still. And, and LG, I know you got Evie, uh, Evie, and Judy. I know you have dogs too. So you know, the step in dog puke also. It's nothing. It's nothing worse than that. Than that squishy feeling in between your toes. Tiny, you coming over? Nope. Here's a little short plug for Alaska because we went on an Alaska cruise and my wife got that Alaska shirt that cost way too much on the cruise ship. But, you know, hey, you only live once, right? So, still those who've never been on a cruise, if you ever can, I would highly, highly recommend going on a cruise. Especially to Alaska if you can. So right now, we got Tiny, Max in the background, Kit and Yoda. And we have the orangey, or tang, over there, um, also. So we have five out of the nine in this area. Yoda, of course, being, oops, sorry, Yoda, being dramatic about it. Oh, y'all talking about dementia? Yeah, dementia's awful. Um, dementia, and, uh, bye, Rev. Thanks for popping in, Rev. Uh, take care, and thank you for, uh, I guess uh, timing out that comment, I didn't see the comment, so I don't know what it said, but I appreciate that. Yeah, so dementia is terrible. Dementia, Alzheimer's. Um, when I worked in physical therapy, I had a few patients um, that had that, and it was just, it was hard to, and this is only for an hour, it was just kind of hard to keep them focused, and it was hard for their family that came in, and Parkinson also was another big one, so those are terrible, terrible diseases. Um, so, well, I will say as far as the comment goes, there was a comment on the last one that I did. Now, I know doing these, it's, it opens up more people watch that watch shorts, and I know a lot of people that watch shorts are younger people, and sometimes younger people don't think. So, you know, they sometimes make those kind of comments. And I think I was, I was showing Rosemary at the time, and they were, like, saying several times before I took them out myself, like, you know, you need to put this cat down kind of thing. And I'm like, no, I'm sorry, but you're, you're out of here. <laughs> so, um, but I don't know. I just know doing this, it, you know, it kind of opens up the, the sh kind of the short feeds, and uh, you see that a little bit. Yeah, um, and John, so that's that's why I'm, I, I do have, there is definitely an appeal to doing this a little bit more often. Oh, got a fight going on here. Is that more human interaction and more that, that more personal touch? I completely agree with you there. Um, 
The only thing I have to keep an eye on, I just don't want to necessarily like pull too many subscribers on here. Like if they if they're new to the channel and if they want to subscribe, great. I just I don't want them necessarily coming from the shorts feed because I don't want them to have that expectation like this is like a shorts channel kind of thing. Um, but and that, that's why like last time when I did this, I was telling people, hey, feel, feel free to subscribe if you want to. But you know the thing is though, I mean just don't expect shorts from me kind of thing and. You know, it did pull in some subscribers, so we'll see what happens long term on that. But I, but I agree with your comment though, John, on that. I think Yoda's kind of tired of this, and this is the one thing. And cat friends, and even even um, dog friends, uh, even if you have dogs too, I think you would agree. It's amazing how quickly, you know, you buy a new toy and they're into it like big time, right? Initially. For the first day maybe the first week but eventually yeah kit is, doesn't play well with others <laughs> um initially though they uh they get tired of it and then they just are more interested in the box that it came in long term than the actual toy itself i found El George, um, I was ignorant when I had cats some decades ago. Good things, uh, good thing I never had big problems with them. Yeah, El George. So I mean, that's part of my uh, kind of my um, my goal and my channel focus is to educate those who either have had cats before, and maybe I don't know, maybe they're interested in having them again, or maybe they have cats right now, but maybe they're not sure what to do with them. Is because cats are not dogs and you know I think a lot of people think cats are dogs but they're just they're so they're totally different totally different a miracle I have just discovered on this type this kind of stream if you scroll too much you'll end up another place interesting miracle see I never I never like go on the shorts feed or anything so I I, I wouldn't know but that is kind of interesting to know though Hey, awesome, John. You hit 1.1K. Awesome. Keep on growing. Yeah, oh, definitely, El George. No internet back then, and unless you knew somebody that was, like, you know, not a cat expert, because I'm not a cat expert. There's always something to learn from our feline friends. Um, but, uh, you know, there's, there's always something to learn for everybody. And, let's see. Tang. Tang is just hanging back there. Um... <laughs> this is usually what happens when we had this toy out was uh, Kit basically kind of like takes it over and anybody who gets close to Kit she starts slapping um, she likes she starts slapping others um, Judy it, it is a different setup because it's a um, it, it's a vertical live um, so I, I don't know how it works, like from a participant standpoint. But maybe if one of y'all do the same, then you know eventually, like if John, if you start doing these kind of lives on, on your phone, which would be great, I think, because I think you know I think you would do well with it. Um, I could pop in and just kind of see how that how that does, how that works. Um, Max. The this is what I should have got to that puke earlier because unfortunately, here's another thing with cats. This is the kind of the truth of it. Max, he did some of my job here. I need to get the rest of this, which I will, but Max, he eats puke. <laughs> he does not believe in throwing stuff away. He is a, I guess he's a good kitty when it comes to that kind of thing. Um, he, he likes to uh, recycle food. <laughs> I will say. <laughs> That's all I'll say. All right, so let's get this up. Again, hey, this is real, right? Real life, real nine cats, and this is what happens with them. All right. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Watching Max eat some puke. <laughs> uh, hey, get back down. Uh, uh. I tell you, though, 
the harder it is, uh, or the, the older you get, the harder it is to get up and down off of the floor. Am I right, or what? All right, I think these two are kind of, they're like, yeah, okay. The, the excitement has wore off. <laughs> it's like we had fun at first doing the, watching this, but it's like, eh. I think we're kind of done. Hey there again, Bert. And John, yes. Um, Max is, uh, he doesn't believe in wasting food. Nothing go to the garbage. So if somebody pukes, he gets it. That's kind of his thing. Are you having at it there, Kit? All right, well, I'm gonna put, excuse me. What you doing? What you doing, Tang? Nope. Yeah, Max, Max is a, he's a regurgitator eater. <laughs> All right, I just heard Rosemary's door open, so that means I might check up there for a moment. I'll try to get my wife not on camera because she doesn't like being on camera. I'm going to turn this off. And let me... Oh. You like to play with it when it's not going on around in circles? Let me actually... I'm going to take this up to Rosemary. Put this toy away. And let me go up with Rosemary. Let's go up here. So just come with me upstairs one more time. Yes, Maxie. Yes, Yoda. Just be in with Rosemary. I said, I'll be in with Rosemary. All right. And she's passed out. Hi, girl. Say hello to everybody, honey. This is filming, by the way, so that's why I said what I said. <laughs> yeah, Rosemary has quite the setup here. For those who haven't seen before, so she's got her, obviously her own water fountain. She has her own um, stairs. Uh, she has two litter boxes. <laughs> um, especially that one because she's older, so sometimes she just needs something that's not uh, like a high entry litter box. Um, she's got her own blankie. She basically has her own chair here. Um, she has her own bed. Hello there, Dirk. She's got a scratching post. And she's got, oops, sorry, that's so bright. She's got uh, her, um, her view when she goes spying on everybody. <laughs> Uh, Sherry, yes. Rosemary is around, uh, 16, 17 years old or so. She doesn't look it. And I swear she surely doesn't act like it a lot of the times. But she is a good girl. You want to play with this? I know it's been a while since you've seen this, huh? This butterfly. Ooh, it's gonna get your head. Oh, it's gonna get your head.
He's like, I don't care right now. I'm sleepy still. You woke me up from my, my beauty nap. Now, Rosemary also, she has a shaved belly. She has a shaved belly here too. She does, likes to hide her shaved belly. So she has a shaved belly from her ultrasound that she did just a few days ago. You coming up? What's up, girl? You gonna play with the butterfly? You gonna get it? You're like, no, maybe not. I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna go back to sleep. <laughs> No, she doesn't look like she's her age, uh, Sherry. Sometimes we do wonder if Rosemary actually is 16, 17 or so, because she definitely doesn't act it. Hello, NPP. Hope things are going well for you, NPP. NPP, we've just been kind of uh, going around my house and um, checking out my kitties. And uh, just a little bit more personal kind of thing. And, uh, you know, I kind of like these vertical live streams. I um, think there might be something to it. So, I don't know. I might start doing a little bit more of these um, during the week. Aye, good girl. I know. You're a good girl. It's definitely a little bit more impromptu and kind of off the, off the cuff, if you will. And I'm definitely, I feel like, uh, better at doing stuff kind of off the cuff and impromptu um, and not, not really scripted. Although I, I am in the process of getting a scripted video out about cat purring. And right now I'm struggling with it. <laughs> I want to try it though, but I'm struggling with it right now. <laughs> Yo, good girl. Yeah, and NPP, you are still um, on top of the, the name, that location. As far as I know, I don't think anybody else has submitted any guesses. So right now, you got it. You're the winner still at the moment. <laughs> People have until next uh, t t tomorrow at 6 o'clock is when the contest ends. But right now, you're the only, you're the only submission at the moment. Oh, since I have some of you on here, I also um, just wanted to uh, say, um, I'm not sure if you all have seen um, Ray Rudini's post yet um, today, so I would definitely check it out whenever you have a, a moment to uh, check out his post that he made um, about his mom out in Australia. Um, I would definitely look it up. So I just wanted to kind of put that out there too with Rudini and his post. Yeah, yeah, Ray, Ray from Rudini, exactly, exactly. Yeah, Cherry. Yeah, yeah, Tranquil. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is unfortunate. Um, it's a, it's a, it's not a good situation out there. Um, but yeah, go ahead, uh, NPP. Um, let me see, John, I'm going to have to try it. I've only 422, so it'll be easy to do. I'll submit my answers to your contest soon. Adam, I'll try to beat it. Okay. All right, John. Um, I guess my wife is in here, uh, Catherine Holmes. She's saying that I set off Yoda. I'm not sure what I set off Yoda or how I set off Yoda. Yoda always sets himself off. So how did I set off Yoda, wife? Let me know. Oh, uh, what toy did I leave out? Did I leave out the, the bird toy? He's a good girl. He's a good girl. No, the butterfly toy is here. It's up here with Rosemary, if that's what you're asking. I didn't leave. I left out the box. Is he trying to get inside the box? <laughs> Yeah. 
All right, so Ray's, Ray, Ray, I can't talk, Rosemary. Oh, I left out the second butter, well, I left out the box, so hopefully, sorry. Um, hopefully Yoda didn't eat that butterfly. He's kind of goofy like that. He's not a very smart kitty sometimes. <laughs> we do kind of wonder on occasion, Yoda's seven, and we sometimes wonder if all the goofy stuff he does and stuff he tries to eat on how he is still alive sometimes. It's a miracle we feel like sometimes that he's alive still and hasn't had to have like multiple surgeries by eating so many, you know, silly things. Icon, I don't know who Archie Cat is, so I, I have no idea on that name. So I, I, I don't have any idea myself. You know, in due time, I hope to connect with a lot of other, a lot of other cat channels and create like a gigantic cat community um, in time. And I think I've talked um, a little bit on, on this part also is eventually I would like to um, head up or create a, a situation where those in need, um, in need of like financial help for their kitties or potential doggies, uh, to create kind of like a fund for it, you know, cause we all know pet bills can be incredibly expensive, right? And just creating kind of like a fund, um, for them in need that they can draw from, uh, that they can draw from, um, when they have emergency situations and stuff like that, I feel like could be very beneficial and very useful. Um, hopefully as this channel grows and, you know, as, um, you, you reach more and more of an audience to kind of help fund with that. Also, I just, I kind of like that idea and it's something that I'm looking into doing, uh, or help create, um, in the long term and the other thing also that i'd like to do in the long term or help create in the long term is you know when our babies pass away um there's a lot of grief in there and sometimes there's like nobody to talk to that has experienced that situation also so to create kind of like a a grief processing kind of place if you will where people can come and they can talk to somebody who's been there and done that has experienced the same kind of um pain that the person is going through there right now um i feel like uh is another you know kind of very um is a good endeavor also i, I feel like um in the future too so those are two things that I'm looking at doing, you know, in due time, of course. But anyways, um, that's kind of a little future, future plans, hopefully. Because, you know, there's plenty of cat channels that are out there. And uh, I think if, you know, we all kind of pull together, um, we can really do a lot of good in the world. Helping other cats across the world, helping other cat channels, helping other creators, things like that. Hi, honey. You know, especially when you have the global reach that you have on YouTube. And, you know, folks are very charitable with their time and, yes, with their wallets when it comes to children and when it comes to animals, I feel. Ain't that right, baby girl? She says, yes, it is right. Hello there, Joe. Oh, no worry, Joe. Um, this is not like a normal Sunday live anyway. So this is like a more of a personal, in-person, kind of behind-the-scenes kind of live um, more than anything else. But I appreciate you popping in there and a happy, bir or a happy birthday. <laughs> happy Easter if you do celebrate that yourself. And uh, I hope work is going well for you today. Hey, baby girl. Oh, you gonna bite me? Are oh, you gonna bite me? Are you angry? Are you angry, Rosemary? Are you gonna bite me? You're like, get this camera off of me now, human. 
You've had it on me enough, and I need to sleep. I need to rest so I can go crazy later. Okay. Yeah, you're going to say goodbye to your butterfly that you didn't really interact with at all today? Turn it out one more time. No, you don't really care about that today. You're like, I'm not interested in this butterfly right now, human, so leave me be. Let me be. Let me bite you some more, though. Let me bite ya. Boop. Okay. All right, Rosie, I'm going to let you go. Let's check on a few other kitties. Oh, I wanted to say something. So, this here, if you have multiple cats and you feel like there's a lot of hissing, growling, fighting going on, I would try one of these out. I'm going to unplug it. So, it's called Feel Away. And um, it plugs into the wall. And what it does, it gives off a scent that, uh, bye, Ann. Um, have a good rest of your night, Ann. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you popping in, and we'll see you next time. So take care, Ann. Um, so you plug it into the wall, and what it does, it releases, like, a pheromone that is supposed to help calm kitties down. So, you know... I don't know, if you have cats, and if they are um, bite, biting a lot, or, or fighting, or uh, hissing, or growling, then maybe try this. It is a little expensive, um, but I would definitely, you know, think about it. Alright. Let's see, we got Tang up here again. What's up, Orange? Like I know, you didn't want a chance to play with the butterfly, did you? Because Yoda and Kit were hogging it. <clears throat> Here's just another must for that thing. You want to play with it? To me, this is another real must for. Um, if you have a lot of kitties, is a uh, scale. It's a weight scale. I think it's definitely would be needed and a good thing to have to know how much your cats weigh. Um, yeah, I've never shown this area before. Um, this is, uh, well, I think you all can tell what this is. This is um, kitties that have passed away. So we built this, like, I don't know, bookshelf or whatever you want to call it for, uh, I guess my wife says depressing, but you know, hey, it's part of life um, for those who have uh, passed on. Um, we, uh, you know, obviously we have a kitty. I'll show this a little closer since I haven't. We got Kitty here. Kitty was our uh, first cat that we had together. Um, one of their uh, more iconic shots for Kitty is she always liked to stick her head into things that didn't belong in there, such as like uh, food boxes and stuff like that, and sometimes it got stuck a little bit. Um, but that was our Calico Kitty. That was the one that we wound up feeding uh, syringe feeding for the last year, year and a half or so. She had kidney disease, kidney failure, and uh, she wanted to eat that wet food. Um, so, and then we have her paw print, and you know, obviously her urn. Uh, picture of the little boy and Norman. Norman was our first orange chap tabby that we had. Um, unfortunately, Norman passed away. He had a uh, 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 basically thickening of the um, of like the heart muscles uh, and the heart wall um, I can't think of the name right now I think it's like HCM but I can't hy hypertrophic hypertrophic something um, 
That was a tough one. Basically, he just had accumulation of fluids in his heart area and in his lungs. Uh, and we had pills that would help kind of take, you know, get the fluid out of there. Um, but it was kind of a losing battle, unfortunately for him. Um, and then another picture of the boy. And obviously a paw print. And his little urn. Uh, up here, a very old picture, <laughs> back when I had a lot more hair, um, and a uh, kitten here, who was like the original leech, pretty much wherever I was, she was, um, as you can see on this photo. Uh, she was the second kitty that we had. First was kitten, or first was kitty, and then second was kitten. Um, very original names, I know. She had a lot of issues uh, as she got older. Uh, she was kind of like the, if y'all, if anybody knows Mr. Burns from The Simpsons, um, she was kind of like that. She had a little bit of everything, but she kind of just worked for her. Uh, another kitten, very, very young picture. Um, she was probably not even a year old there. Um, another picture of the boy. That was probably his last picture where he looked the healthiest before his feline leukemia uh, took him away. Um, and then Norman, the orange tabby that I was talking about earlier. Uh, it's his another good picture of Norman, along with his paw prints and obviously his little his little urn and one of his favorite toys that he used to he used to play with uh, back when he was he was with us. So that's that section. Let me quickly. And lastly, kind of look around, and then I'll probably end this here uh, pretty soon. Check up with Max here for a bit. See what Max is doing. He's like, man, this camera is back, and I was looking my butt. You good boy, Maximus. Orangey. I'll let you groom yourself in peace, Max. Orangey over here. Hey, buddy. Now, I would always say, um, if you have kitties, to have an orange cat, if you can, in your life. Um... There's something special about orange tabbies, ginger tabbies, cream tabbies, like whatever you want to call them, red tabbies. They just have a, a specialness um, to them that you can't really, you don't really see in other, other breeds. So I would definitely, if you can, try to have some color in your life. Get you that focus back on there with that orange tabby. All right. I'm gonna start wrapping this up. Um, just take a quick look again over in our our room. See if anybody's available as we wrap things up. Um, hello there, Luis. How you doing, Luis? I'm doing some vertical lives here. Uh, some more like personal stuff. I think it's something you asked me a long time ago about. Um, also, happy Easter to you too, Luis. Uh, so, like I said, just doing these vertical lives, uh, something that I feel uh, like, I don't know, are a little bit more, John was saying earlier, like a little bit more like of a personal side, and I, I agree with that actually. So it's something that I definitely, you know, will look into more and maybe do more of for it. So I think I'm probably going to, like I said, I'm going to wrap this up here uh, with the baby. Try to get a better focus on her if I can. Yeah. She wants to bite me too. <laughs> tell you, calicos. Calicos always want to bite people. I kind of got Zelda over here. She's hiding. She's like, I'm done with this camera. I don't want to be in the camera anymore. 
But anyways, um, I appreciate everybody kind of popping in here. Um, I hope you all have a good rest of your day, a good Easter. Uh, if Easter's your thing, if you celebrate it, I hope you have a good one. And, you know, check. Uh, I'll probably do these again in the future, but I just want to say goodbye to Icon, NPP, Luis, Judy, um, John, um, uh, Tranquil, if you're still in here, Sherry, if you're still in here, Bird, if you're still in here, um, I'm not sure who, uh, I think Anne left, uh, I think I said everybody, if I didn't, then goodbye also, and, uh, have a good day, and we will see you, uh, we'll see you around, so take care, God bless, and bye-bye. Bye, baby, he's like, bye, bye, baby, all right, bye, baby, like, leave me alone, all right. All right. Bye, everybody. Ugh.